What's up nerds and Renegade Cactus, but you can call me whatever you want. Welcome back to Nexomon Extinction. We are going to go into the cave. Uh, have we been here? I mean, I know we've gone towards the cave. Is there really only that one room? Do we have a key? Oh yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> um... Yeah, we, we went back somewhere, I think, oh yeah, Frozen tra Tundra, we gave the woman her ring and got a vault key for that, which is great. And now we are here, I kind of expected more out of the cave, but I'm guessing we were here last time and I still don't know what the tributes do. Luna Bell companion, ew, that's cute. I'm not using any companions, still not, because I just, I don't know, like, eh. <laughs> and a discount voucher, that is awesome. That is really, really useful. All right, uh, how's our team looking? Yeah, a little bit beat up, like tiny little bit. So why not, right? Why not heal? That is a really small mine. How many did we already open? How many vaults did we open yet? Like around five, six maybe? I don't know, can't remember. Should Probably need to look it up. Or not, doesn't really matter, right? Let's get going and fight this guy. Why? Because he's here. Come on, fight me. The cave over there. Uh, it was I who discovered it. That should make it rightfully mine, shouldn't it? How about you walk away and make your own discovery for once? Scram! Ah, uh, oops. Is that the evolution of the uh, lamp? No, um, the, the thing we just saw? The lampion thing? That looks awesome! I love it! I'm sorry? What? <laughs> okay! It just self-destructed. I mean, good thing I went into Domigator and not stayed in with Noosedal, but... Huh? Uh, why, why would you? <laughs> oh, we just leeched. Come on, leech again. Nope. But if that almost killed, then Arcane Magic will kill. Yeah, that's nice and all. Mount, you're going down, sorry. Pack Hidna. Uh, how about another Soul Feeder for a potential Leech? No, no Leech. Then a Dark Flame. Awesome, new Sudo levels up. Yes, it does. And Voltaic levels up, or Voltaic. Something like that. You know what? Fine, go and look around my precious cave. It's not like a novice like yourself can uncover its treasures anyway. Like, there is just one room. No, there, there's nothing to uncover. There, there's a vault door to open, yes. But everything the cave has to offer, you see right when you enter it. Like, there, there is no... Uh, maybe, maybe not. No, I, you, you go in, you... I need this. <laughs> I need this. That thing looks awesome. Let's throw a flan or whatever that was. Didn't enjoy it very much. Uh, who would have Who would have guessed? That thing, I love it. Don't we have any electric? No. Whatever. I love the idea. B A B A X X X Y. I, I really, really love the idea. And of course, doesn't really matter. We're gonna get it this time. 40%? I mean, come on, it's just 40%. Y-A-Y-B-Y-B-A-Y. Come on, do me the favor. Thank you. Kind of said favor with a B now. Favor. Do me the favor. Its mechanical appearance and the sheer force of its pinches make this Nexomon a formidable and intimidating opponent. Formidable. It's... If you would were to pronounce it in, in German, that the word exists, we just... Really use it, it's formidable. So I was formidable, no, it's like formidable. Ah, sent to storage. Sadly, I got a... Okay, I I, I need to look something up. Database... Uh, over here. Only owned ones or captured ones. Sculptor evolves at level 14. So basically we just have to catch it, or uh, not catch it, get it on the team and uh, let it get one level. Ooh, Loomfer! That's cool. I'm gonna attack it. 
I'm gonna hopefully destroy it. And if not, I'm gonna try and capture it. But I'm guess... Ooh, ooh, it actually lived. It lives to tell the tale. I mean, if I were to use it, I would probably capture the first evolution, the basic. Whatever, I got it now. Yay! <laughs> the flame on its head as a child became a main. This next one is the perfect balance of power, speed and sharp claws. We got an achievement on 90 Nexomons. Wow. I mean, including uh, including evolutions, of course, but still, wow. 90. That's, that's nice. Um, all right. So, there is nothing around here. We cannot go... Wait, can we go through where we just were? Hey, you get him on I I just I think I just uh what's the word? I think I think I just assumed that I can't get through there where the guards are. But then again, um I'm gonna go and look through the rest I'm gonna go look through the rest of the city. In order to find the thief who stole from us, because that is still a... Eh, that is still a... Quest that we have to do. And then we'll see if there's anything else we can find there. I don't mean to be rude. But Voltaic is pretty useless right now. Can't even do shit against a... A water type, but then again, we haven't. Have we put any any course on it? I don't think so. Oh, I keep forgetting that plant is not super effective against rock in this game. Doesn't matter. We're gonna destroy everything in our path because we are swamp low. Hey, wargoil. Not super effective, but still pretty strong. So. Like, I would say 50 minutes ago, I was pretty cold, so I put on my jacket. Also, since I wanted to record and I was feeling the evening get to me, I mean, evening, it's not even 6 p.m., but still, um, I also got a coffee, because why not, right? And now I got my coffee and my jacket, and goddammit, I'm warm. So, I'll keep it for a few more minutes. I'll keep it on for a few more minutes and probably get rid of my coat or my jacket then. You see Tyrant Graveyard, some that's the work of Lateria, don't mess with us, ha! Wouldn't have a dream of it, like, I don't have anything against those people, they have something against me. Yet, yeah, there's a huge Tyrant Graveyard somewhere outside the city. It's a uh, creepy, but it just goes to show how mighty our warriors are. And that is true, kinda, I think, maybe? I, 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 I do get the feeling that there is some secret that they're not telling me right now. Ooh, wow, just strolled into someone's home and got a discount voucher. Hey, have you seen the Tree of Gifts by the Immortal Citadel? They say that it can grant the wildest wishes. I gotta check it out someday. Is it the creepy, creepy tree that we talked to? There's supposed to be lots of things that affect your reputation as a tamer. Stuff like quests, defeated tamers, and capture unique Nexomon, for example. All makes you a better tamer. True, true. That, that, can't argue with that. Like, uh, what I wanted to say, I still think, like, I have this feeling that something about the Tyrant Graveyard is off. Like, it might just be because people just talk about it quite often. But they talk about it quite often in a way of, like, we are amazing. Look at this, our city. And somehow I got a feeling that... It's, it's probably, like, unfounded. It's probably a, gra a tyrant graveyard because they destroy them every single time. But there is the small possibility that, like, someone else did it and they just think they did it or took credit or something like that. I don't know. I don't even know why that would be a thing, but I don't know. Just, like I said, it's a hunch. It's a feeling. I'm guessing it's wrong. Like, ever had a hunch where you th think, well, I'm probably wrong. 
We have our barracks to the south. That's where we plan our next attack against the tyrants. You heard that right. We don't hide from them. We hunt them down. Yeah. Okay, no, it's it's pretty sure they they do the hunting. The good is so passive. No wonder they keep losing cities. Just a matter of time until Perrin falls. It's sad. I mean, I mean, I mean, <laughs> not much I can say to that. Hey, don't you be, don't you need to be at the cowardly city of Param? Why are you here? Go and hide behind your tall, pretty walls, kid. Damn, that's me. <laughs> hey, Prince Leia. <laughs> I have nothing against the guild, really. There really is no reason for you folks to walk around here. But here, I needs no help. Okay, so <laughs> she basically, <laughs> like, she did not say that at all. But it's basically, I'm not racist, but. <laughs> Nah, that's no, that's that's absolutely not comparable in any way. That was just a stupid joke. All right, is there like we are still kind of looking for the thief? I don't remember how the thief looked like or what the thief looked like. Looked like I have no idea. Uh, oops, what like where we would find him? A team has fallen very sick, should bring an antidote. Thief might be hiding in Lateria to the far east of the desert. Are we like Lateria to the far east of the desert? I think so. Though the desert was only two screens, so I wouldn't call it far east. Have we talked to you? Yeah. We have. We have talked to everyone around here. So. Okay, <laughs> so I think we're good to go. Let's just check this out for safety. Yeah, no, we've been here. Um, we're gonna go back to the right now, to the more more eastern. We're gonna go even eastern. Can we talk to you? I have nothing to say to you, Tame of the Guild. Leave me alone! Okay, have we been in here? Most tyrants are brown because renegades like Jin and the Hatch them from. Okay, we've 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 heard about that as well. We've talked pretty much to everyone. That's. Am I missing something? Or maybe, like I said, I I just assumed that we couldn't go to the east, on the bridge. Um. Yeah. So we probably can go there. Probably, hopefully, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, down there? I think we were there. Pretty sure. We've been here. They won't sell us anything. Oh, wait. Observatory. We haven't been in here, right? The, like, the big... The big place in the city. Right? Right? <laughs> like, it, it only has been... What, two days? Three days since I last recorded it? Now I'm getting too hot. It's getting hot in here. I take off all my clothes. No, 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 I won't. As far as you know, no, I really won't. Ah, sure. Okay, nothing. Ha, I found a donut. <laughs> Seriously? Hidden like that? It's just a donut? Where is my microphone dead? Okay. Since we're already here, let's get this. Let's get that. Let's go over here. Oh my goodness, there's one more. <laughs> okay, that's it for now. We're gonna go to the east now. So the observatory will be probably part of a quest later or something like there will be something i hope because why would it be there otherwise because it would make it look like something's in the city other than just houses and npcs but still it is it looks way too way too important to be nothing don't you agree <gasps> excavator that is the evolution that is awesome that is really awesome. But that also means that I don't have to get the crap and evolve it. Unless. Wrong. Right. Unless. 
evolves at level 33, so we could still get it out and evolve our um not evolve it. I mean yes, evolve it, but uh, make it gain two levels. Okay, nothing, 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 nothing around here. I do have this feeling that I'm just wandering around lately in this game. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um I could just go with the main quest. That is probably the thing that I should do. In case you don't remember, because I've been stumbling around for what feels like ages, we'll have to go to the orphanage in order to, like, what was it, make a plan? Or because Emily is there, something like that. We want to go back to the orphanage. That's something that I remember. I just, for some reason, only remember it now. That feels... Like a plot point. <laughs> that feels plot important. Da, 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 da. Orphanage, I think, right? Didn't it say we should go here? Yeah. Let's see now. Uh, Lydia told us to meet her inside the orphanage. Why did she come all the way here, though? Because it's a trap! Maybe? I don't know. Hello, kids! It is I. Person. <laughs> And to the left. And up there, I'm guessing they're in the important room. Yes. I did, were they waiting for me like this the whole time? Ah, Renegade, this is good. Oh, what is that robot? A robot? Huh? 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 Hey there, the name's Atlas. Ah! Yes, yes, yes. He is Granda. What's wrong? Have we met before? I, well, oh my. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. It's I was right. It's human form Granda, who's also on our side, it seems. Whoa, it's so cool. He's floating and everything. For real, look at that design. Where did you find him, Renegade? Hey, hey, I'm the best sidekick. <coughs> sidekick off. Uh -huh. Listen up. With Eliza's help, we may have found Emily's location. You've put in so much effort to no avail that I took pity. Let's see, Emily is underwater. <laughs> she, 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 she drowned? <laughs> like, yes, that's exactly what she was saying. Shut up, Ross. There's an underwater city nearby. Seriously? I've never heard of it. It's hard to believe, but I've lived there for, I mean, a bunch of years and I remember it well. In the old days, the Tamer's Guild was desperate to build safe havens to shelter humans from the tyrants. The capital of Parham, the underground stronghold of Ignitia, the skyward bastion of the Drake Isles, and finally, the underwater city of Cadium. Cadium? It doesn't ring a bell. It was a failure among failures. The guild tried to erase it from history. Wow, really? What happened to it? I, uh, you know what? It would be best if you saw it for yourselves. <laughs> so, Emily is hiding in an abandoned underwater city? Can't we call it Rapture? <laughs> It's not exactly abandoned. Many of the original denizens refused to leave Cadium generations ago and chose to stay, stay, stay behind. They chose to stay behind. Chose to stay behind. Today, their descendants live there, or live with mar marginal knowledge of the surface world. Cadium was once known as the city of science, with all sorts of equipment that Abilie could exploit. This is our chance to break into Cadium and sabotage her work. Vatos must be there as well. We can end this once and for all. How do we get there? I can't hold my breath for too long. He is. Stupid. I think people love him because of that, but he's just stupid. Are you being dumb on purpose? <laughs> I can guide you. I found a way to get you there. Come meet me outside the orphanage. Hurry up. I, I could just freeze the water, I'm just saying. Wouldn't help us in any way, but I can freeze the water. Like, anyone else? Anyone else? Okay, just me. Uh, did you just say to meet him outside or upstairs? I'm not quite sure, so I'm gonna go upstairs again. <laughs> Pretty sure outside. Hey, what are you doing here? I like the music, it's so nice and nice. Renegade, Renegade, you saved us from the thugs, that was awesome, you gotta take this with you, come on. Could I have gotten this all the, like, could, could, could I have got that from the start, basically, from when we first helped them? <laughs> Ages ago, basically? Possibly. Possibly. Okay, I think we wanted to go outside, right? Yes. 
Oh yeah, there was nothing to the left. Over here, Renegade. We are heading southwest, beyond the camp. Like, nothing much. Just the sea. Would make sense that there is something there now. I... Let's go over here. There is a camp. Hello, heal, thanks, bye. So he said beyond the camp, but which beyond the camp? I'm gonna... I, I think down here, right? Because of water. I know both both sides were a dead end, but I think the left... I will be near? I think the... That looks new. I think the left was the airship? No, that was in Parham Town. I don't know. That looks interesting, and... I'm gonna just circumvent all this by using the freezing ability, but that doesn't matter. I'm not in the mood to battle right now. Sorry. Okay, there is something to the right, so let's check out the right first. I'm guessing there's another vault in here, which... Awesome. I don't have any more vault keys, do I? No, absolutely not. By the way, how many... Oh my goodness! We got 10 of those now! 10 discount vouchers, that's 30% off! Oh, that's awesome! It's a tranny fan! Still cute! Not as cute as the first evolution. The base evolution, whatever it was called. But still cute. Scaredy. I mean, it would be easy to kill or defeat. But it wouldn't give us any XP, so... Uh, how about now? Nah? Let's jump up here. Oh, there is something to the left that I just didn't see. <laughs> and... Got it. Nice, blazing shard. I never get two blazing shards or sell them. Tuskind. You know, when we were facing the Dranifant, I was thinking to myself, does it evolve? And now that I see this, oh yeah, we know, we knew about this. <laughs> we knew about that before. We've seen it before. Wow. Altaig is weak sauce. Like, absolutely weak. I mean, let's level up a little bit more and maybe give it some cores, but damn, that's really... Not impressive at all. Not at all. Doesn't really matter though. I mean, we got... We only got like th three... I mean, four. Four of our six Nexomon are actually really, really useful in battle and the others are just here to soak up some elements, uh, elemental hits every now and then. Tesla! You just got Tesla. <laughs> okay. That thing looks interesting. Question mark? <laughs> well, Tiger levels up. Yay! There is another vault. I was correct. I mean, makes the most sense. We don't have any vault keys, but let's check it out and see if there's something laying around. No. But now we know where the next vault is. That is awesome. I like it. And this is where we've been before. So we've just checked out the entire cave system. That was nice and quick. <laughs> Oh, it's a voodoo! Okay, magic and you're gone. Told you. I'm psychic. <laughs> Alright, that's... that's... Good to know. That is really good to know. We could heal once again, which we really don't need to... Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, I was right. This is where we need to go. We got a submarine. Love the way it looks. Absolutely love the way it looks. Well, this is it. In the old days, people used this kind of vehicle to descend into Cardium. There used to be a lot of these. Emily probably has her own. It appears locked. Just punch it open. <laughs> yes, the guild decommissioned them. I salvaged this one, but never quite managed to operate it. Oh, I could just plug into it and unlock the door. You can do that? So cool. Whoa, way to go, Atlas. Impressive. This robot is quite the asset. I'm guessing that this stuff is too old and he can't do it. I have to agree, yes. Yeah, whatever, just hurry up. <laughs> Done, it's all good now. Okay, so this was just a sidekick <laughs> fighting scene. <laughs> Not fighting, but sidekick problems. It's an old machine, it will be a slow trip. Or maybe it will explode. <laughs> uh, what was that? It will be a slow trip. <laughs> 
course it will. Of course it will. From what Lydia has told me, Vardos is true, a true abomination. He's worse than any tyrant and must be stopped. Renegade, you might soon confront Emily. Depending on how things play out, you might even become the guild's enemy, a traitor. Keep that in mind before you descend into Cadium. I mean, we basically know that. Give me your power. Give me your power. Oh, thank you. But that is not your power, Granda. Granda. <laughs> This thing leads to the underwater city of Cadium. Are we going now? Sure. I don't have anything to do up here because all my paths are blocked as far as I know. Ooh, that looks cool. Ooh, I like it. Ooh, I like it. I'm gonna drink to that. And here we are in Rapture <coughs> Cadium. I should play Bioshock again. Never played a whole lot of it, but I've played the first one for like two or three hours, maybe? The second one I have never touched, and Bioshock Infinite I've played for like a few hours as well with a friend. That was pretty dang cool. <laughs> Why are we doing this? Vata sounds like a pretty good idea to me. We should just keep a low profile and let Emily do her thing. No! <laughs> have you been listening to anything? Come on, come on, this is a rare opportunity. A lost city built by the guild itself. So they built quite a lot of a lot of things that many people are not aware of. Wow, there it is, an underwater city. Why would the guild abandon it? It's a perfect place to hide from tyrants. Or it was destroyed by tyrants, just saying. Watch your step, Renegade. We don't know how strong Emily's influence is in this place. Okay. I'm gonna save. I'm yeah, we still have a few a few minutes, but I'm gonna save just in case anything happens. We don't want anything to happen to us, do we now? Cadium, the city of science, huh? Those who stayed behind devoted their lives to research. Their des descendants must be amazing and enlightened people. Or they're all just stupid. Which was possible. I see, uh-huh, that was quite interesting, indeed. Oh, they're idiots. <laughs> it, it seems like they have developed a dialect of their own. Can you imagine paying a writer and getting this plot in return? <laughs> but this is the city of science. I mean, as long as they understand each other, that, that's still completely valid. Your mentor did say that this place was some kind of failure. What happened here? What caused this? Let's find out. We need to scout out this place. Someone might be able to communicate with us. It's our only hope to learn more about Emily's whereabouts. So we're gonna talk to a lot of hurdle dirdle dirdle people. Speaking of hurdle dirdle, there's a viking guy. <laughs> so, oh, there's there, there is a ghost down there. I kind of set my hopes for the ghost. Because there is a possibility that it's a ghost from someone who lived here when they still talked our language. Um, there has to be someone around here that can speak English. Without their help, we'll never understand what these folks are saying. Okay, they, they count as one. Sure. Yes, yes, indeed. Now imagine having. Ah! Ah! Imagine having not only writer who write, writers who write this, but also voice actors who voice this. That would be amazing. Would love it. Would sound like The Sims or other stuff like that. The people here don't seem to mind ghosts like me. I like this place. It's quite different from the surface world. So we found someone who can speak English. That's and no one says anything. That that like seriously, I I, I get it. This is not a uh, story relevant NPC, but we just found that NPC who can speak English. Just saying. We can ask that person, even if it's a dead person, whatever we want to know. Like, Emily's whereabouts, but no, they won't. 
Screw all of you. I'm ah, sorry. Uh-huh, uh -huh. that interesting, fascinating. I'm not gonna talk to you because you probably know English. Yes, every single one says something completely different. Huh? Are you surprised to see a ghost here? Well, we've had about a thousand years to explore the world. We know every nook and cranny. Ha! Huh? So ghosts could tell me pretty much everything I need to know, especially about vaults and what's in them. Oh, hello, dear friend. Yep, I'm a ghost. I've discovered this dumb city along with my pals. Nobody believes us when we tell them that there's an underwater city here, though. And we talk to three people who can completely understand us. Oh, the that is riveting storytelling. Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry. I guess I don't know. Damn! Damn! She buff. They're buff. And this person said something like, "Hey, damn hard burden." Pretty sure. Like, trust me. I know this dialect by now. Um. Basically, we found who we looked for, people who speak English. But none of my crew, like, acknowledges that in any way, shape, or form. Which kinda sucks, doesn't it? But anyway, let's save it right here. Override? Sure. Has been saved. Nice. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm the Renegade Kekas and I gotta run. Herm, herm, herm.